Hey guys, this is Scary Potato, and you're watching a gameplay video of my My Mystery Game. Uh, it's just a quick sort of run through of each of the levels that you'll play through in the game. So this is level one. Uh, it's just a really straight ahead sort of introduction level for the players. Um, it's there's not a whole lot of enemies or anything. Uh, it's just more or less to get the player acquainted with the different items and controls that they're going to be using through the game. So you can see you're uh, picking up little blocks to beat the bad, uh, I call them bug bots, the, the little robots that are sort of strewn about in each level. And there's your first actual weapon, the little ray gun lets you blast through the barriers. It's not very powerful, but uh, it comes in hand. And we go into the temple. So this is level 2, the Mayan temple. The theme is still similar to the uh, that little introduction level, um, but it's quite a bit more maze-like, so you need some uh, more serious navigational skills to find your way and grab all the items that you need. There's also a, a whole lot more enemies. They're not very difficult at this stage, but there's enough of them to keep you busy. And in level 3, these, uh, I call it the catacombs because it's sort of the basement of the Mayan temple. Um, so you get some more weapons and items, and you're going to have to get uh, sort of familiar with water in this level. This is kind of a marshy stage. And you can't really ever go wrong with crabs in a game. <laughs> and here we are, uh, the aquifers, level 4. So it's deep underground, and it's full of fish and crabs and squids. Those weird little jelly things spinning the walls. This level is by far the, the most difficult that you'll come across so far. Um, it's a large level and there's multiple pathways that you can take to find your way around. Um, so it's, it's a challenge just to remember where you've been and where you want to go. And here's another weapon, uh, the laser, which is fairly powerful and it's got some unique abilities. The main one being that it switches on these light beacons to open up pathways, just like that. And then continuing on, this is level 5, the lava tunnels. And uh, with the aquifer level being so intense and uh, challenging to find your way around, I figured this one is uh, best off if it's not made too difficult. So there's still some uh, exploration that you need to do, but it's not quite as intense as the previous level, uh, just to give the player a little bit of a break from everything that they had to go through when the underwater level. The enemies now are quite a bit more difficult um, and have more hit points than the previous levels, so it's, uh, it's more challenging in that regard. <clears throat> Here we go with the Pulsar weapon. This one's sort of unique in that you don't need it uh, to get through any barricades or obstacles or anything, but it'll, uh, it'll expand your range of firepower and it comes in handy when there's enemies and stuff that are out of your reach. And this is the final level, level 6, uh, Horatio's Lair. So as you can see, he's got all these conduits and pipes and stuff that are harnessing the power of the magma. I don't know what he's going to do, but uh, he's got evil schemes and plans. These little conveyor belts are particularly difficult to navigate. Um, the timing seriously throws you off, so it's a challenge just to, to stay on those things at times. Here we go with the last ability in the game. And up and out. 
So there you go. It's a quick little review of my video game, Lion Mystery. I hope you liked it. Thanks a lot for watching.